To education matters, the Ashun State Government has promised to enhance teaching and learning in all public primary and secondary schools in the state for better results. Secretary to the State Government, Tislin Igbalaye, who was speaking at the inauguration of a, a block of classrooms at Oshobo Grammar School, also solicits support uh, for, of stakeholders to achieve better education. Rafi Hamid reports. Since the reversal of single uniform policy and return of old names of government schools by the administration of former Governor Adeboe Gawetola, old students' associations have been making contributions to their various schools across Ocean State. Under this administration, the gesture has continued. Here are the 1993 set of Old Boys Association of Oshibu Grammar School. Marking the 38th anniversary of their graduation from the school, they resolved to rehabilitate a block of four classrooms that was formerly in a sorry state. Chairman of the organizing committee, Ajibo Laudwola, says efforts are underway to establish an ICT center in the school. It actually was one of the fastest rehabilitated um, blocks that was done in the history of the school. And uh, the set come together today and um, celebrate among ourselves and with the school authority and other bodies to, to commission the project and hand it over to the school. We have a plan to do some sponsorship for some students and by the God's, by the God's grace we are coming to build a, a standard art studio for them. To give back to the society. That is why they should face their studies now and attain great feats in life. Secretary to the state government, Taslim Bibalaye, who is a member of the Old Student Association, said more efforts will be put in place by government to enhance teaching and learning in public schools. My, my, my advice for the children is that uh, they should be of good behavior and they should be a good ambassador to Shugurama School and also state general, in general. They should continue to look back what the school has done for them the knowledge they have imparted on them, they should continue to look around so that they will be able to give back to the society, give back to the school. The plan to them now is to learn very well, face their studies, they should avoid distraction, they should listen to music less, they should stay on social media. In our days, there was no social media. And I can understand social media has both merit and demerit. So they should maximize the merit side of it. They urged all the students to remain focused and be good ambassadors of their school wherever they find themselves. Rafiul Hamid, TVC News, Ushugu. An election to determine the new leadership of the socio-cultural body, the Joy Youth Council, took a new twist as Congress uh, obtained the earlier process, saying that it was flawed. This time around, Jonathan Lopobri emerged as president, defeating three others in the keenly contested election with the presence of heavy security. Joseph Kunde reports. With armed security on the ground, the rescheduled IYC elections is held at the Gabriel Okara Cultural Center in Yanagua, with some notable aspirants and their agents present to witness the process. 110 accredited delegates partake in the election conducted by the new electoral committee overseen by the acting president, Sylvia Olali. <laughs> After sorting out the entire votes cast, Jonathan Lopobri is declared the new president of the IYC, having pulled a total of 47 votes to defeat his closest rivals, Benjamin Appa, with 15 votes, and Ibilade Ekerefe with 14 votes. To the founding fathers and leaders of our struggle, thank you for your painstaking efforts to ensure that this successfully comes to an end. My fellow contestants who ran this race with me, you made it so eventful. Thank you. Let me assure you that nobody is a loser in this process. We are all winners because the John Nation will win. The election is hailed for its transparency as the new executives are taxed with uniting the entire Ijo youths across all divides. They must champion the cause for which the IYC was formed and which is uh, entrenched in the Kayama Declaration. Address the problem of persistent crisis during transition. We need the IYC to complement 
the efforts of the INC to ensure that the job people and the Niger Delta people get a proper nice. place in Nigeria. The new executives take the oath of office as they express confidence and commitment to fulfill the mandates of the body as enshrined in the Kayama Declaration. We cannot continue to lay the golden egg and have nothing to show for it. It is my honest conviction that we shall challenge the status quo to ensure that our people have a space to participate in this oil and gas business that is happening in our region. Today they are piping gas from our region to as far as Morocco and there's no German participating. If we are united, I can tell you this country will listen to us. Joseph Kunde, TVC News, Yanagoa.